today's the last time that individuals, Americans across this country will have to file in the, in the old tax code, which means moving forward, they will see a simplified tax code. They will be able, they'll see firsthand the impact of the doubling of the individual uh, personal exemption, the expansion of the child tax credit. They're going to start seeing this firsthand, more money in their pockets. It's been rolling out. 90% uh, of Americans have seen uh, their, their withholdings changed, where they have more money in their pockets. Uh, businesses. Every day we're hearing about more businesses, small businesses, large businesses that are making decisions to invest, expand because of tax reform. And what encourages me the most is that it's bringing hope and optimism to this country again. We had seen years of stag stagnant wages, a stagnant economy, and now people are optimistic again. I was just visiting a company in Spokane, Sondran Packaging. Now their employees are going to get between 70 and $300 in their paycheck increase. But it was the optimism that really inspired me as you, as you hear people that are more hopeful again, they're dreaming again, and that's what we want for people. You, you're in must be a rural part of, of well, I can't believe you're winning in Washington and you're going to win again, right? That, that's right. Is that where Governor Inslee, is, is that Governor? That's right. That's We've right. had him on. I, I, he comes on and I, I'm always blown away when he comes on because I don't even know what to say when well, I, when I, I mean, you know what I'm saying, right? I mean, well, yes, I served with him in the House and now he's our governor. My he's district, got, does he have White House aspirations too? Do you know he, it's, it's, uh, it's, every appearance is that Governor Inslee does have White House aspirations. Uh, um, I would uh, encourage people just to take a second look there. Read, just <laughs> yeah. read. Some... And, and what's going on in our state. But my, my district borders Idaho, so I represent okay. Spokane, uh, down to Walla Walla. Just, again, hardworking men and but, women. But, okay, a lot so of, the president know. won 52% in, yes. in your district. That's yes. not a blowout. That's not as safe as some of the, the other places necessarily. Well, I don't, well, can't believe anywhere in Washington is safe. Well, I don't think any, no one can take their reelection uh, for granted. This is uncharted territory. However, I believe that as Americans really see the impact of the policies that we have promoted with this Republican majority. The economy is growing. It's more money in your, in your pocketbook. The lifting of the regulatory burden so that people feel like they can go out there and explore uh, the American dream again. These are, people are believing again and we gotta just keep that momentum going and win hearts and minds and, and convince them that there's more that needs to be done. Kathy, a big issue for your district is trade. We were just talking about that with Josh Bolton as well. Um, obviously, this trade um, tensions that we've seen with China have come back on farmers, like the farmers that you represent, uh, because that's where China is kind of targeting things. What do you do about that? How do you kind of see your district through this? I'm urging the president to, to lead with the farmers in mind. Uh, I, I have urged him to pull back from the across the board type approach that he was talking about with, with uh, steel and aluminum. I was pleased to see him last week announce that he's coming back to the table on TPP. I believe that that is one of the best things that we could do to in, be at the table, negotiate. That will be the, our best counter to China and their dominance in writing the rules of trade and commerce in, this, in that region. So those, those are all steps in the right direction. Just last week, um, we had Kudlow, Larry Kudlow, yeah. come and speak to the conference and share some of his insights. And it was important to hear from Larry as he comes on board as the, the new economic advisor to the president. He recognizes that we, we must have fair and free trade, but opening up these markets, you know, in my district, we export 90% of the wheat that we grow in Eastern Washington. We export 50% of the potatoes. We want that, we want those jobs here. We wanna grow, we wanna produce, we wanna manufacture here in America, but then export to the world. 95% of the consumers are outside of America. That is going to be an important part of growing our economy, creating jobs, creating opportunities for people. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.